So I got a request on how to install sealed cartridge bearings back into a wheel or a hub. We're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be using a, an Enduro tool set, this guy right up here. So that's probably the best thing if you want to not harm your bearings as you're installing them back in. Old fashioned way, we used to get just a hammer, maybe a screwdriver and start pounding away, but we're gonna cause a lot of damage to the bearing or to the wheels. There's alternatives, but uh, you make your choice. So Ricky and I are gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to install sealed cartridge bearings back into this hub right here. So we got our two sealed cartridge bearings right there and one is bigger than the other so we gotta locate which is going on which side. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our Enduro uh, bearing press kit right up there. So you go ahead and grab your kit and then you're gonna match up the adapters to fit as tight as you can into that bearing. So we're gonna make sure that that tool fits nice and snug in the middle and it's gonna fit great just on the outside edge because so when we press in, we're gonna make sure that that adapter doesn't get stuck inside the hub. Yeah, go ahead and fit those on there. So we're trying to get the tightest fit. So we got the inner diameter. And then we got the outer diameter. So you don't want the outer diameter to be bigger than the bearing. We found the correct uh, size adapters and you definitely don't want the adapters oversized bigger than the bearing outer diameter because when you go to press in your bearing that adapter we don't want that adapter to get stuck into the hub if it allows it if we have to sink that bearing deep inside it and that adapter is going to follow it and go deep inside we want it slightly smaller in diameter so it won't get stuck we'll be able to take it out when we're all done push it in right yeah so how's it look so this looks exactly it would be hitting the outer yeah so this is the adapter so the adapter is hitting the outer edge of the the wheel so we're not going to get anywhere there so we have to find an adapter that's slightly smaller in diameter that'll allow us to actually sink inside the hub so we'll find another one for that Okay, now we can measure this one. Go ahead and drop that adapter in. So that adapter is actually sitting inside the hub and we're still a good fit. There's no shakiness left and right, so that's a good fit for that guy. So now you're all set, you can go ahead and grab that. That's our anodized tool from Enduro. It's not only a good tool made with precision, it's pretty, they anodized it yellow, so yes, you are paying for a little bit of glitter. You're getting that candy with some sugar on it. So you're just gonna unwind one side, and it doesn't matter what side goes in where, I'm just gonna install that. And then you're sliding your tool on the other side. And then you're gonna just tighten it up, you're just barely gonna make contact with the bearings. Double check, make sure both your bearings are still sitting flat and flush. You don't want one bearing crooked or cockeyed because it will get jammed in there. So as long as everything's looking flat and flush on both sides, you can slowly start turning. You'll start to see one or two of the bearings start to sink inside. One will probably see set first and then the other one will follow. And there should be a stop point. And as soon as you feel that, that where it hits the end. I just give it just a very gentle, uh, little bit of a tightening, 16th of a turn, just to make sure it's seated properly and then go, and ahead, go ahead back out. You just unscrew and then you can pull the tool out. So once you get those bearings in there, you can go ahead and stick your finger in the hole and you wanna spin the middle of the bearing just to make sure that everything's spinning good, nothing ha bad happened. We didn't put any unnecessary stress on the bearings. Everything should be spinning pretty darn smooth. That's good. So this is actually the best place to get make a check on those bearings is getting the finger on it. 